Hey, what's going on guys? You got Crave here, and this is going to be a very simple video on how you can quickly get into using the Tell Me When add-on. Now, with Legion being what it is, and I think for every expansion, uh, with the change up of abilities and whatever stuff you have to learn in the game, um, yeah, and for me, I do sometimes forget the, which buffs uh, I have to make sure are up, uh, which debuffs to track, and things like that. Now, Tell Me When is an add-on that's very useful for that. Um, especially if you want things very much right in your face uh, or sort of very much more visible than the standard uh, aura bars that you're seeing on top of your um, unit frames. Now, I think, I, yeah, I'm sure I did. I recommended uh, this add-on for my Blood DK um, tanking guide and also my Affliction Warlock DPS guide. So again, I'm bringing this back, although I never explained in those guides how to use this one. So now for this one, as I said, it's a simple guide. It's not going to be as thorough as my um, e my guides for setting up ELVUI. So this is just really again to quickly get you into uh, tell me when or to jumpstart you into its use. So there's going to be three parts to this guide even though it's quite simple. Um, the first one is basically I'm going to show you guys uh, how you can quickly just set up a buff to basically watch a buff on your character. So um, I'm going to be using uh, an enhancement shaman for that. Now the second example is going to be using um, my protection warrior and especially it's a very useful uh, section as you're able to use uh, or track the ignore pain uh, shield buff uh, that's really useful not just uh, the buff itself but also the absorb value of the shield and the third example I'm going to be using is um, an affliction warlock uh, and tracking at least two dots uh, that you have to keep up on a mob so as with my other guides guys uh, as you can see the, the options are up there on your screen uh, just make sure to select the guide or the specific section you want to see or if not you I, I would suggest go ahead going ahead and watching every single section in the order they're presented um, it, uh, it's really gonna help you guys if you really are interested in the tell me when add-on so again just make your pick from what you're seeing on the screen right now and of course if you are on a mobile device just make sure to use the description box below to find the links to the specific parts of this guide and as always guys thanks for watching this video and uh, i hope you like uh, leave a like on your way out and subscribe if you haven't Okay, for this example, what we're going to be doing is measuring uh, or watching procs or basic buffs. So it's a very simple process actually and tell me when. So if let's say you just want to see an icon pop in case uh, you want to be notified that your buff is up or a proc is up. So what you do is go into tell me when by slash uh, typing in slash TNW. Then I have it open. Okay, there you go. Now in these uh, faint but uh, empty slots, they're there. Just right click on the slot you want to use. Now make sure that, uh, well it really depends on you, if you want to use uh, bars or icons for the format of what you want to check on, uh, but for the purpose of this one just um, let's go with icon. Now in the icon type selection just go to buff debuff and uh, you have to type in the buff you want to watch. Now in this case this is a shaman, enhancement shaman, I think I want to watch the storm lash proc. So type in storm lash. Okay select that and what you want to watch is yourself basically or your character so who to watch is supposed to be player and uh, we want to make sure that buff is selected for buff or debuff and um, yeah let's keep it simple we we're not, we're not going to tweak anything else since we just want to know whether a buff is up so let me see why is that icon not showing form lash Okay, let's click OK. I hope I didn't miss anything. Okay, so let's try it out. Let's uh, try to whack this dummy. Wait. Okay, come on proc. There you go. So as you can see, uh, Stormlash did proc. Uh, the evidence is also right down there in L ELVUI. Okay, it's gone now. So that's basically how you can set up a buff or a proc to show up on your screen in case you want to be notified in a bigger way that it's up. Uh, the next one I'm going to be showing you guys is also pretty similar because it's also a buff format but um, it also tracks any values uh, that you want to track with it. So in this case if it's, um, I'm going to be using an example as, a, as an example, a protection warrior and his ignore pain buff. So you might want to check that out. 
Okay, for this example, we're going to be using a Protection Warriors Ignore Pain buff with Tell Me When. So this is a pretty good example to use, mainly because uh, you have to measure two things here. Uh, the first one being the amount of time left before the buff expires. And the second thing you want to measure here is the absorb value or the shield value of um, Ignore Pain. So what you want to do to set that up is to go into Tell Me When. And... Um, just go into options or so right click any existing uh, tell me when uh, blank icon you got now what you want to do is go into icon okay in the icon type make sure to select uh, buff debuff okay and in the what to track field what you want to do is type in the buff name which is ignore pain All right okay oh by the way if you want to change this uh, bar you're seeing right now just go into group and uh, select it from here. Now, I think it's more convenient to simply have the horizontal uh, bar format, so let's click bar, go back to icon and set it up. Actually, there's not a whole lot left to set up. I mean, of course, you can tweak it to your needs, but um, uh, this is a basic guide, so let's just keep it simple. Now, to make sure everything is set up correctly for ignore pain, in the buff debuff section, uh, make sure to select uh, the only variable number one in aura variables, okay, and I hope that is correct. So let's click OK. Close out tell me when slash TNW and let's test it out on this big mob. Let's generate rage. Okay. Let's put it up and there you go. So that's the uh, ignore pain buff working now. Okay. Let's try to refresh it and increase the value. Now it's up to 150k again. Okay, let's get more rage. Yeah. Okay, revenge, shield slam. There, we increase the value to 300k, but it's dipping. Okay, let's try increase it to increase it again and refresh the buff. There you go, back up to 300k. I love this ignore pain ability by warriors. But yeah, I think you're pretty much getting uh, uh, how it's supposed to go. Charge in. It refresh okay and yep that's how you pretty much use the ignore pain uh, uh tell me when with the ignore pain buff for protection warriors uh, let's kill this guy okay so for this example what we're going to be doing is um, tracking debuffs on your target so i think a good example of this one would be a dot class so that would be like uh, what you're seeing right now is an affliction lock or it could also be um uh, Shadow Priest, I think you still have a bunch of uh, debuffs on that, which uh, also means some um, some dots that, that you have to track. Although I haven't played a Shadow Priest lately, so I'm not sure what changes went into them. But yeah, so this is going to be focusing on the dots that you can track with your uh, Affliction Lock as an example. So what you want to do is, um, uh, I want to see my character while I'm doing this. Okay, so what you want to do is go into TNW or tell me when slash TNW. Oops, we were already inside. Okay, so by default you normally have these, um, it's pretty faint, but these blank icons uh, up on your screen when you first set it up. So anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. So just right click on one particular icon slot you want to use and uh, go into icon. Now in the icon uh, selection, make sure to go to buff debuff. Okay, so it's now question mark. Now make sure to type in the uh, dot you want to track or debuff you want to track. So in this case, um, agony. Okay, I'll just select the first one. And um, now, in the second field, uh, what to watch, uh, make sure you, you want to make sure, oops, no, not that. You want to make sure that you are tracking your target. So remove the value that you see there and click on target. Okay, or you can type it in, it's up to you. Now, the third thing you want to do or make sure is that you are tracking it as a debuff and not a buff. So select the debuff option in the buff or debuff section. And um, to keep it simple, that's pretty much all you need to do. So I won't close this down. It's still set up. So let's see how it goes once we get into combat. As you can see, uh, oh, well, ELVY is also tracking it uh, on the target. But in case you don't have a nameplate that does that, you can use tell me when. So you can see here, the dot is up. And um, it's also tracking the stacks that it has. So as you know, agony increases in damage uh, over time. So that's one way to do it. But just in case, 
you want it in bar format, you go into group, select bar. Okay. You can of course tweak the number of uh, bars that are showing up on your screen in the dimensions portion. So that should be easy for you to tweak. But uh, let's just go with this one for now. There you go. You also have a bar uh, timer in that format. But the purpose of this one is just to focus on the icon part. So let's just get back into it. TMW. Right click. Let's just change it to icon. Uh, where was that? Oh, there you go. Now, uh, since this is a warlock, let's uh, uh, try two different abilities. Uh, I think corruption would be a good example. Okay, so let's go corruption just to show you guys uh, two um, uh, dots being tracked. Corruption, and again, you want to change the value of what to watch to target. Okay. And then make sure to select debuff in buff or debuff. Okay. So where is my corruption? I haven't played this lock in a while. Okay, let's try it out. And there you go. As you can see, since the corruption doesn't have any stacks to build up, it's just pretty much there. So, but once both agony and corruption expire, they're just going to disappear from your screen. So that sort of helps you not notify you that uh, one of your buffs has fallen off. Um, it's especially useful in classes uh, where you have to have 100% uptime on your dots. Uh, again, like a Shadow Priest maybe, uh, or a Rogue. Uh, yeah, um, I'm pretty ha having a whole lot of fun with my Rogue right now. So Rupture, Garrote, um, yeah, things like that. So uh, this is one way to sort of measure different debuffs on your target.